Today I would like to hear how some of you guys apply the principle of courage in your everyday life. In this high school, class begins here. What does it mean to overcome fear? How do you not live in fear today and to continue to press through? Reflection and remedy. Courage um, is what I need day to day. And having the courage to share about struggles. I'm a recovering addict. I made friends with like a whole bunch of other like old older people in their 20s who it was much more accessible for me to get harder substances um, like acid and uh, just all sorts of stuff like shrooms, mushrooms. After moving from high school to high school. 13, 14 and trying a substance for the first time, I took off running. I mean, it all started just from a big wave of depression. Ollie found his solace in sobriety here. Here, we like to teach our students um, how to learn how to live without substances. Keith Hayes is the director of recovery at 5280 High School, a place where a handful of students come to learn, to heal. It's about connection, and recovery is about connection, and we have to be here for one another. A bond only so strong, a pandemic can pull it apart. When we had got thrown into stay-at-home order, I uh, ended up relapsing at home just because I was so isolated, and I. I didn't do any school. For Ollie and others at 5280 High School, the return to the classroom is different than most. I'm actually looking forward to tomorrow, which is a big difference, which is something that I never did. It's another month of staying sober. Everybody has to have their own bottom. Everybody has to be beaten into a state of reasonableness, as we like to call it. And once they're ready to have that, be humble and be willing to open up. That's when you really get to see their life change. Connection through the power of a classroom. I think. Now 5280 and my sobriety, I would be I would be dead right now. I love you guys. John Glasgow, 9 News.